Sure. Yeah. So, as you might know, Bangalore needs about uh, 1500 million liters of water per day. That is the assumed number. Out of which the water that comes from the Kaveri. So, the first issue kind of starts and if you traditionally look at how Bangalore managed its water, uh, there were lakes and people that kept the ground water fairly recharged. It does not have any rivers, but there is a river Dakshin Pinakini that flows through and exits out around Sarjapur road and goes actually joins the Bay of Bengal. It still exists. So, and it starts from the Nandi hills and there are six rivers that start from the Nandi hills. But uh, and there is a river Vrishabhavati that flows from Bull Temple road. Now, now, of course, all of this over a period of time, once the Kaveri water board, once it was felt that there is not enough water for the city to manage it itself, water started to come from the river Kaveri. And there is a lot of energy that is spent just pumping this water into the city. And then there are losses along the way, not necessarily physical losses, but also revenue losses. For So, now given all of that, one of the issues really is why can't we do something locally here? It's not an issue, it's probably more a solution. So, rainwater harvesting, certain, if you look at pure numbers itself, about a 900 square kilometer city of Bangalore and the rainfall that we get in an average year, the rainfall is more than sufficient to fulfill Bangalore's water requirement. But given that a lot of the rain that falls on various surfaces is not of appropriate quality that you can consume it again, but it can certain rainwater harvesting itself can be implemented certainly at a larger scale than it is right now and to follow through and make sure that it is adopted, spoken about, there is a certain positive spirit like how was built in Chennai, people share their positive stories. There are a lot of happy families who will call us and say, thank you, this time when it rained, I could go off one month without Kaveri water. Or somebody who told us, I now have recharged my well, my well holds water all through the year, I am off the grid totally, I do not take Kaveri water anymore. Or people who say, I did not realize that it was the rainwater that was filling my tank and I was using it because these systems are all automated. Uh, but I, uh, only when the tank dried up and I switched on my bore well, I realized that my bore well had not been working all these days and it was really rainwater that I had been using. So, one, one of the problems is or solutions is to see how people can use rainwater better. The other thing that has happened is that uh, groundwater, there is a lot of groundwater exploitation, especially in the peripheries of the city where there is no supply from the Bangalore water supply and sewerage board. Now there, uh, while withdrawal is okay because you have no other way to cope with lack of water, but how do you use that water wisely? How do you encourage groundwater recharge? Maybe how do you encourage people to go back to shallow wells? And uh, there was a time when we all depended or the city depended on shallow wells 10, 20, 30 feet for water. Now we are all going deeper. But as you look at it, really it is not the deeper bore wells that are yielding more water. Even now, the bore wells that yield, yield large volumes of water are about 600 feet or so. It is not your 1000, 200, 1000. You dig that deep with the hope of getting water. Yes, you do get water. That is not where, where you are getting most of your water from. So, the problem is of take, not managing your groundwater well. So, that is a problem. And groundwater is also linked to our lakes. We are blessed to have multiple lakes in the city. Current problem with the lakes is either the lake gets no water at all because all the channels have in various ways been blocked and it is only the rain that falls on it or in certain cases it is wastewater coming into the lake mixed with rain or sometimes only wastewater. So, how do you, what are the best things that you can do? Can that, can you have separate drainage lines to capture sewage separately, storm water separately? So, I think the main challenges are about looking at other sources of water like rainwater and then uh, managing your groundwater and managing your wastewater.